Well, the, the, the last two days of the um, African Union Summit uh, had two major uh, items. One, um, of course, is the theme for this year, which was the same theme um, in the summit uh, earlier in January, and that is intra-Africa trade. And intra-Africa trade um, was identified as one area, and this was a recommendation of the heads of state at the summit in January, one area that could spur economic development uh, across the continent. And the difficulty was that uh, despite the many isolated studies, there had not been any comprehensive assessment of what was needed to make intra-Africa trade uh, happen uh, faster and in a more meaningful way than it had been done before. So this time around uh, in the summit, uh, the discussions are about a roadmap to achieving a certain level, a satisfactory level uh, of trade between and amongst uh, African countries. And Rwanda is one of the leading countries in the discussion on intra-Africa trade. Um, the meeting of ministers of uh, trade, African ministers of trade, that took place in Kigali in, in June 2010, uh, came up with uh, recommendations to move very fast on um, identifying the best way to, to uh, start trading amongst ourselves with a very important component of infrastructure. So this summit is uh, examining, it is happening in the next um, couple of hours, uh, is examining the roadmap that is being presented um, and we expect uh, the summit to endorse uh, the way forward on, on uh, this very important topic. And of course, countries like ours, like Rwanda, um, Ghana, South Africa, different countries have been very active in um, promoting this, uh, not just the idea, but also the way forward. The second item that was important in this summit, which is already completed, was the election for the uh, leadership of the, of the commission. The um, South African um, uh, candidate is the one who won uh, yesterday. Uh, Mrs. Damini Zuma. She's um, uh, expected to start uh, her new assignment here in Addis Ababa in about three months. So we're happy uh, that uh, a capable person comes at the head of this organization. Uh, and of course for Rwanda, uh, when a woman and a capable woman is placed in a position uh, such as this one, were always happy. Uh, Rwanda did not vote for her because Rwanda, uh, as a matter of principle, would support smaller countries, medium-sized countries, uh, and not big countries. Uh, but we will support her, we will work with her. Uh, we know her from uh, her previous um, position as Minister of Foreign Affairs of, uh, of uh, Ethiopia, so we are very happy that uh, despite uh, the deadlock that was there in January, we are now uh, back into business. Could you, tell us, uh, could you tell us a few words on ICJLR meeting and the bilateral between President Kagame and President um, Kabila? President uh, uh, Kabila and, and our own President, uh, President Kagame, met yesterday here in the margins of the summit. It is uh, a meeting that had been planned uh, for a few weeks now. It was uh, to take place in Goma, but eventually um, they met here for the summit. And they met uh, and discussed um, mainly how to have the two countries re-energize, uh, both at the level of communication, but also at the level of uh, results. Uh, Rwanda's support to the DRC uh, in the search for a solution for Congo's crisis. Um, the uh, Great Lakes region was also uh, involved. We had a ministerial meeting uh, about four days ago here in Addis Ababa. And yesterday, heads of state of the International 
conference of the Great Lakes region also met to, uh, as we had recommended in the ministerial meeting, one, to endorse the recommendations on a solution for the crisis in the DRC, um, and, and also to give more guidance on particularly the long term, uh, because Eastern DRC has been a region of uh, intermittent uh, instability. It was decided yesterday at the summit of the heads of state that there would be a full summit, extraordinary summit, that would take place in Kampala, Uganda, in a few weeks on uh, the 6th and 7th of August to examine the root causes and take uh, all the necessary time to look at how to uh, get rid of negative forces in the region and bring lasting uh, stability. So it was a very good meeting.